Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Right now, the Dallas Cowboys are in practice. Not, not, not a game. Not a game. We talk about practice. And um, talk about walking on eggshells. By that, that means that the eggshells will crack real easy. So you have to walk very, very gingerly because they will break. And um, a shout out to Miss Jackie. Miss Jackie just sent me an Instagram uh, uh, link with Tyron Smith being helped off the field. Let me, let me go. Oh, it's in the phone. Uh, being helped off the field by trainers walking very gingerly. We're talking about his ankle, of course, and his ankle, who was, which was an issue last year. Um, I'm looking actually on um, Twitter to try and get any updates and stuff on there. I got my man Jay Tuck. Um, this is actually the first thing I've seen on Twitter. Um, and he puts it perfectly. Tyron Smith is a perfect example of why it pays to be proactive in getting a deal done versus reactive. His deal is so team friendly, the Cowboys don't care if he uses all of his PTO days. But um, <laughs> that's that's an interesting tweet. But see, this is where the Cowboys do so many things that are good. When you look at us getting a guy like Turpin, okay, it looks like he could be the real deal. He could be our, our Cheetah, our, our Tariq Hill. What do you think of finding guys like J. Ron Kurtz and getting a safety uh, that's as good as Buda Baker for $3 million a year? When you look at how we have been able to draft and find guys like Micah Parsons, they go and do 95% of the job to get there. But unfortunately, it's the 5%. And this is my own personal problem because I get excited about a new job and things like that and doing stuff, and I go balls to the wall to get this thing going and stuff, but it's that last 5% that I lose focus and get bored, but it's that last 5% that's the difference of a job being really good or being excellent. And the Cowboys forever have been just rolling the dice with Tyron Smith. Since 2017, you know, we, we lost him, and it literally changed our team. We went from being a team that should have been a playoff team to Tyron Smith getting hurt, and now we got Chaz Green coming in and literally gave up eight sacks. Got, got Claiborne paid, the defender who got five sacks on Dak Prescott. But we ended up going from being a great team to an ass team. And this has happened to us over and over and over again. The Cowboys just won't seem to say, we have a problem here with Tyron Smith. Now, maybe in some regard, if Tyron Smith is going to break down, that it would be better for him to break down now so you start making a plan to play without him. And that is Tyler Smith is now our starting tackle. The, the, the error starts now. The error starts now for Tyron, for, for Taylor Smith at left tackle. And, you know, I guess you roll the dice with Connor McGovern at guard, but then you start scouring and saying, we need to start checking around or maybe making a trade for alignment. If, even if Tyron Smith is fine right now, this is the second time already through training camp that Tyron Smith has been nursing an ankle. And when we start getting out here on live actions weekly, we can't depend on Tyrone Smith anymore. You know, it's kind of like this. Plan on not having him. Plan on not having him. If you do have him, then that's extra. That's icing on the cake. That is gravy. Or that's whipped cream and a cherry on top of it. But plan on not being able to have Tyron Smith. And that's the attitude that the offensive line coach needs to have right now. What will I do without Tyron Smith? How are we going to be successful without Tyron Smith? If you don't have that thought in your mind right now, what we are going to do in a plan to take care of it, then the season's lost. All right, good people. I wish I had better news than that, but... This is not good. We'll have more when we find out more.